what's going on you guys thanks for coming back to the channel i want to wish you all a uh, i hope you had a happy thanksgiving or whatever it was you may have been doing this past thursday and through the weekend i hope it was delicious uh maybe nutritious uh, maybe not so nutritious who knows but in any case thanks for coming back back here to watch another video today we're talking about insurgency sandstorm on console and what uh, where i suppose we we are or you know where the hell are we is really the question and a lot of people don't know and there are a lot of legitimate questions being asked uh, within the console community for this game about where this the latest update is um, and just the state of this game right now uh, on console particularly is just in a very bad place and I'm going to be honest with you, at first I was on the side of, you know, let's give them time because they're a small developer and all of that, and n most of the time I would, I would, you know, I would agree with that sentiment and, and believe that to be true, but there's just been a lot of things that have happened over the last you know, month and a half or so that have made it harder for me to feel confident um, that NWI is doing any of the right things here, or Focus Home Entertainment, uh, are doing any of the right things here with this game on console so let's dive right into it and see where we're at two is the number we're going to talk about first and two is the amount of months that this game has been available on console without any major updates now when i say major updates that doesn't mean fixing a lean right bug when you couldn't just toggle between your two times optics that's not a major update that is a minor fix that is not i mean you know it was annoying but it's something you expect to get fixed pretty quickly stability is something that is included in what we call major updates um, and it's something that any developer is aiming to fix within the first month of a release if not the first week of a fix um, when possible it's like I said it's been two months uh, this game still crashes like crazy for anyone on a past gen console but particularly for pl PlayStation users whether it was whether it's PS4 or PS5 I have a PS5 I've only crashed a few times on it but I've heard other people on PS5 are not having that same kind of luck and if you're playing on a PS4 good luck to you or an Xbox one for that matter um, this is one of the most fundamental things that you need to fix in your first month of releasing a game it's stability the ability for the game to play correctly and for any amount of time on the platforms that you released it for that has not been addressed yet um, it's supposedly in the works we have a major update quote unquote supposed to be coming that we don't really know when or where or how uh, but you would assume that that would have to be part of that but we have no idea because what are included in any of these updates usually is not being communicated to anybody until after the update comes so far all the updates we've had have simply been to fix minor issues with the game or fidelity issues and resolution so here we are two months later and this game is still crashing all of the time for you if you're on a past gen console and for some of you on next gen consoles it's also crashing now if you bought this game uh, as an Xbox player uh, for either past or next gen, you're also running into an issue where you spend a whole bunch of extra money, potentially, to buy some new uh, player or weapon skins and you don't have any of that content yet. Uh, a lot of you don't. I, I'm not sure how many or what the percentages are, but I know it's a shit ton of you don't have that. That's pretty ridiculous as well, uh, being that some people spent upwards of $80 on this game. So. Two months later, like I said, the, the number's two, we're two months in, no major updates. Kind of ridiculous. So right here, I just wanted to throw up um, some tweets going back as far as I believe November 12th, um, which is more than two weeks, but it, the, the patch 1.11 and the Warlord update have been out for almost two weeks now, 13 days technically, but we'll just call it two weeks for the sake of argument here. Um, these are all the tweets that we've gotten uh, since and even a little before then, um, that have nothing to do with it, with the console community about any of their questions about any of their concerns and while some of um, Some responses in here have were answered uh, through the Twitter handle uh, with things like uh, we hear you or we're working on it um, That's great But considering the state of this game right now and how unplayable it is for so many people um, You need to do something other than say we hear you okay and putting out more content for you know a different side of this game and doing it publicly and, and very much you know 
relegating the console community to the shadows in a, in a lot of ways is not the way to do it. And you're definitely going to be making more people angry than happy here. I guarantee you that. So that's I, that's where we're at here. That's where we're at right now. And, and to not see that for what it is, I think you're doing yourself an injustice here. And if you spent good money on this game, I would be very upset about this. So everyone knows about the uh, unable, being unable to go to prone from crouch bug as that's been around since the game was launched um, and it is arguably the most annoying of all the bugs because it's the one that gets you killed quite frequently um, as having to stand straight up before laying down is pretty non-intuitive if you ask me and I don't think that would be a stretch to, to, for anybody to come to that realization but it also is indicative of just where we're at with how this team making this game um, is having an issue even with small things. And then this bug here came up uh, that I'd come across before and kind of forgotten about. And I pulled this clip um, from a another player named Killer uh, Killer J Killer Pro. Um, and he, I just saw this on YouTube the other day and I was reminded about it. And it's just again another thing. It's a small thing, but it's you know you wouldn't think this would be that hard to fix. But it's around. I'm not sure if this is still there. I mean, I noticed this a few weeks ago, um, but uh, it pops in and out, and that's just you know the reality of it. This is where we're, we just have things like this happening now. Um, obviously, the audio bug that's still going on. That's been in PC for a while too, apparently. Now I've been playing this game on PC as well. I haven't even run into the audio bug yet playing on PC, uh, but apparently it's there too. Um, so. You know, here we are, again, two months later, and some of the most important gameplay bugs have not been fixed, and arguably the most important one, this crouch, this crouch fiasco, uh, is still hanging around. Now, listen, if you're an, if you're going to be an apologist for, you know, this kind of stuff going on, um, I, I'm going to have a hard time siding with you, and. If this game were free, or if it were still in alpha or beta test, I would not be this critical of it. I really wouldn't. But it's really hard not to be. Again, two months in, um, not having any kind of stability updates, this game doesn't even work for at least half of its player base. And that's just kind of unacceptable. I mean, it really is. Uh, if you really think about it, just understand that, you know, you're a consumer being sold a product that doesn't work. and you're kind of second rate and that is sort of you know proven by just how much that we're being communicated to versus the other the other side of it being the PC side as I showed in, in those tweets you know two almost two whole weeks of tweets and social media communication that never once was directed at this audience um, which is having almost all of the problems that this game has and it's just it's kind of crazy to me that that's where we're at right now so i don't know i, I would I, I really hope that this game gets its shit together because um as i had mentioned maybe three or four months ago it's really important for this game and for stuff like hell let loose to work and and you know and play properly on consoles if if we want that more tactical FPS genre to stick around for us. Um, it, otherwise, you're going to kill your, you're going to kill the goodwill out of any of the people who came into this wanting this kind of game. And I don't know how long that they'll stick around for if you don't fix, fix the damn thing. You know. So that's where we're at. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we will see you later on in the week.